in the third episode of the final season. As we can see, this script page looks exactly like the one from season 7 that turned out to be quite accurate. However, if you don't want anything spoiled, it's time for you to close this video. This script starts with the gods who don't Winterfell. It's night. Jon and Danny hold hands as they stand side by side before the sacred Veerwood Heart Tree. It says, The Septon persists to tie a ribbon in a knot around their joined hands, which symbolizes their union. I hereby seal these two souls, binding them as one for eternity. Cursed beetles who would seek to tear them apart, Septon says. The scene then switches to King's Landing. It's not only John and Danny that are getting married, it's also Cersei and Euron. It says, As the Septon speaks, we see a shot of the wedding ceremony in the Great Hall. Cersei and Euron are getting married as well, and it's Kyburn who has them married. The scene then switches back to the gods who dove Interfell. Septon continues. Look upon each other and say the words. John and Danny look upon one another and start reciting their vows. Both of them speaking simultaneously say, Father, Smith, Warrior, Mother, Maiden, Crone, Stranger. Immediately following this, still speaking simultaneously, John and Danny recite their main vows. If this leaked script page turns out to be true, episode 3 of the final season will witness two major weddings. I know that this script might cause some confusion among viewers, since John and Danny seem to have a faith of the seven style wedding ceremony, given that John seems to closely follow the old gods of the forest like his family. This should not be surprising, since Cedar Stark himself married Kathleen in the faith of the seven style wedding, so did Rob and Alyssa. However, in closer inspection, it seems as if John's and Danny's wedding is a hybrid of the faith of the seven and old gods wedding ceremonies. It's not performed in a sept at all, but seems to be held in a local godswood in front of a Veerwood tree. Moreover, faith of the seven wedding ceremonies are typically held during the day, while John's and Danny's wedding is seemingly held at night, which is actually how old god style wedding ceremonies are conducted. Anyways, if you've been watching my previous videos, this wedding of ice and fire is not a huge surprise for you, neither is a marriage between Cersei and Euron. Additionally, marriage of ice and fire was expected to already take place in the previous season of Game of Thrones, considering that a potential suitor in Westeros was the main reason Danny left her lover Daryon Hars behind in Marine in the season 6 finale. People have been shipping John and Danny basically since the very beginning of the show. However, Game of Thrones Season 7 did see Ice and Fire come together as Jon Snow and Daenerys Targaryen finally met and promptly fell in love. Since Danny did not come to Westeros to only conquer it, but also to build a stable order and reunite all the Seven Kingdoms of which most are in an open rebellion against the Crown, Jon Snow was and still is the only logical suitor for Danny. Jon and Danny have already begun an intimate relationship, although neither one of them is currently aware of their family ties. Since Jon and Danny are headed to Winterfell, it's likely that Bran and Sam will reveal the truth about Jon's true heritage early on in the season. Clearly, this revelation of Danny being John's aunt will come as a huge shock to both of them and will most certainly change their relationship. Even though incestuous pairings have never bothered Targaryens, and some might even say that it will not bother John and Danny either, as they are Targaryens themselves, you're completely wrong. Targaryens did spend over 300 years wedding brother to sister in order to keep their bloodline pure. Danny's parents, Aerys the Mad King and Rael of her siblings, and Daenerys did grow up believing she would marry her brother Viserys, also true, but it simply is not the same. Even though intermarriage is accepted in Westeros and expected for Targaryens, Jon was not raised as a Targaryen and likely will not embrace their family traditions. Throughout the show, it's been established that first degree incest outside the Targaryen family, such as Crestor and his daughters, and of course the most popular incest couple, Jaime and Cersei, is considered wrong and immoral. Intermarriage between first cousins, on the other hand, is not considered incest in Westeros' society. A prominent example of this is Tywin Lannister, who married his own cousin, Joanna Lannister, mother of all three of his children. However, John and Danny are not cousins, nor their siblings, their nephew and aunt, and therefore, many have been wondering if they will, upon finding out the truth, still marry each other to seal their alliance. The answer on that question is both yes and no. Yes, there will be Targaryen marriage, as the leaked script page says, but no, they will not marry to seal their alliance, but rather because of their child. I know you might be a bit confused, so let's get a little bit back. I doubt John and Danny will continue their intimate relationship after they found out the truth, which will, by the way, take place in the very beginning of the final season, but they don't have to because Danny already got pregnant in the season 7 finale. Despite the nurses belief that she cannot have children because of the prophecy that was told to her in the very first season, Danny will most definitely be pregnant with John's baby next time we see her. Just as John Snuff stated, it's highly possible that the witch was not being honest with Danny, which along with a lot of her shadows that took place in the previous season might mean that the season finale brings more surprises than we hoped for. So Danny is most likely pregnant, we're all expecting Targaryen marriage, but having in mind that John will almost certainly find out about his true parentage almost at the same time the nurse tells him that they're about to have a baby, quite a amount of fans also also doubt that this marriage will actually take place. Well, this marriage is most definitely happening because Danny is pregnant. I know you're still wondering how does Daenerys being pregnant change the fact that they're related, which of course it doesn't, and therefore why would they marry, but give me a few moments to explain it to you. 
even though both of them will without a doubt refuse to even think about marriage, whether it's political or out of love. In the beginning of the season, upon learning that they are nephew and aunt, they'll have even stronger reasons to do so later in the season, and that reason is going to be Danny's pregnancy. Once they learn of their family ties, the other news will hit them. Already mentioned Danny's pregnancy with John's baby. And that exact news will make them change their mind and actually marry each other. And here's why. John has been a bastard son his entire life and he most certainly will not allow his child to be born out of wedlock and live a life he's been living. Both in the book series and on the show, John initially refuses to sleep with women because he's absolutely terrified that he might produce a bastard. For example, in the fourth episode of the very first season, there was a small talk between John and Sam. On Sam's assumption that John has probably been with hundreds of girls so far, John answered with, no he hasn't. John then goes on to describe his only chance with a girl, he says, so I sat there in the brothel as Rose took over clothes, but I couldn't do it. Because all I could think was, what if I got her pregnant and she had a child, another bastard named Snow. It's not a good life for a child. The fact that John himself is not actually a bastard, but a legitimate son of Rhaegar Targaryen and Lyanna Stark, a heir to the Iron Throne is highly ironic of course, but it doesn't change the way he grew up. It most definitely will not change his desire not to bring another bastard named Snow into the world. Therefore, this marriage of ice and fire does not come as a huge surprise, taking into consideration that Danny is pregnant and John, on the other hand, would never allow his child to be a bastard. Now, let's say a few words about the wedding between the Mad Queen Cersei Lannister and Euron Greyjoy that is seemingly taking place at the same time of Jon's and Danny's. As we all know, in the beginning of Season 7, upon having failed to meet Danny, Euron sails the Iron Fleet to King's Landing, answering the invitation of Cersei. Cersei proposes an allegiance between the Crown and the Ironborn, which Euron counters with an offer of marriage. Cersei declines Euron's attempt at courtship, and he departs, promising to return with a gift that will win her heart. As we all know, Euron did fulfill his promise by heading her to people responsible for the death of her daughter. Cersei is pleased and, in return, promises to grant his request of marriage after the war if won. Now, many fans don't consider this marriage as a huge twist. As a matter of fact, most of us expected it. After all, Euron did defeat some of Cersei's enemies already. At the end of Season 7, Euron also sails to Essos to bring Cersei to the Golden Company to fight for her cause. However, let me remind you that Cersei promised Euron to marry him after the war is over. I have a hard time imagining that Danny would be defeated in the episode 3 of the final season. Additionally, I don't think either one of them will be defeated before the very final episode of Game of Thrones. So we need to ask ourselves, if the war is not over yet, why is Cersei marrying Euron in the third episode? Taking into account how cunning Cersei is and how obvious it was that the marriage deal was just her ploy to get Euron on her side, this marriage does come as a huge surprise for me. Euron is too unpredictable for Cersei to marry him. It's clear to her that his only interest is power. The only explanation would be Cersei will not have a choice but to marry him. Could it be that Euron will threaten Cersei that he would betray her and join an enemy's side if she's not to marry him? Could it even be that the Iron Bank will order Cersei to marry Euron in order to seal their allegiance and strengthen the crown's position? There are many possibilities, but one is certain. This marriage is taking place in the third episode of season 8, and it definitely will not end up well for one of them. As soon as this marriage happens, both of them will most likely try to take out the other in order to gain total control of the throne. In conclusion, if this leaked script page turns out to be true, episode 3 of the final season will witness two major weddings, one of which is the long-awaited wedding of Ice and Fire.